Hey everybody, welcome to a new location. It's my humble abode, uh, but I'm coming at you today because we've been talking recently about a few different streaming devices, and I've talked about the Apple TV quite a bit, uh, and so I thought I'd let you in on my top 10 free Apple TV channels. They've got a ton of different channels, and a lot of them are great, and so if you have any others, uh, hit the comments below after this video and, and let me know if uh, if I missed one of your favorites. But what I'm trying to do today is just get off the beaten path a little bit. Obviously, if you've got, you know, Netflix and Hulu and stuff, you're going to get those apps. So I'm trying to get off the beaten path a little. Um, some of these you'll probably have heard of, others you might not have. So hopefully there's something in here worth watching for you. Before we get started, though, don't forget that we are doing an Apple TV giveaway. We're giving away three of these things. So if you want to check that out, hit the description below and uh, you can get more information on how you can enter for that giveaway. Three of them. So there's a pretty good chance for you, I think. Anyway, let's get started. All right, so first things first. Now, this is our screen saver. We've got the screen opened up here. Um, so I'm going to go to our home page now that my remote is connected. Okay, so this is our TV app. What we're gonna do, uh, first of all, let me show you uh, how we're gonna go about uh, downloading these apps. So I'm gonna go to the App Store first and you can see how if I want a new video, I'm gonna go uh, down here and you, you can scroll through some of the big names. So these are some of the obvious ones that you may want to end up getting. It, also on this, you can go up to the search feature and search for your favorite apps. And this brings in one of my favorite things about the Apple TV remote that I've mentioned. Uh, which is, if you're down here on the keyboard function, you don't have to actually spell everything out. You can just do it on the remote with the microphone function. So if I want to get um, Hulu, I mean, it's right there, but H-U-L-U. And it'll search that for me. So that's that's pretty nice. I really like that. And again, you just pop in there and download that. Uh, you'll need to hook in your iTunes password and all that, of course. But now let's go back to our homepage. Now that we've got a bunch of apps downloaded, I'll let you in on what my favorites are. I'm gonna go down here to this folder that I've created. If you're curious about that folder, you can actually, uh, let, let's say I wanna create a new folder. I'm gonna hold down this big trackpad right here. Just click it and hold it. Uh, and then I'll hit the play pause button for options. And I can create a new folder if I so desire. So there, now Netflix is in that folder. We don't actually want to watch Netflix right now, but uh, yeah, you can create that new folder. So I created a folder just for you guys, the best free channels. So this is what we're going to go through. You can kind of see a preview of what we're going to be looking at, but I'll go through each of these and explain what they all are. So let's start with Sony Crackle. This is probably the, it's one of the most obvious ones on the list with Sony Crackle. You pop in here, uh, it is going to be free TV shows and movies. Now, I say free, but they are commercial supported. They're ad supported, so you can watch them for free, but you're not, uh, it's not quite like Netflix or commercial free Hulu or something. You are going to have to watch some commercials, uh, but they do have a lot of good stuff. If you haven't seen Fight Club, you should see Fight Club, uh, obviously. They've got, uh, they've got a lot of good stuff in here. Classic Mask of Zorro. Oh my gosh. So there's not much more to it than that. You can, it's it's a lot like something like Netflix as far as the navigation. Scroll up, scroll down, and you can see the different uh, categories uh, for you to check out. And that's about it for Sony Crackle. So when I wanted when I wanted to back out, I just hit that menu button. Um, and if you if you click it once, it will perform a back function. If you hold it down, it'll go all the way back to your home page here. So now let's move on to Amazon app. Now you might be thinking that I'm talking about Amazon Prime. I'm not. With the Amazon app, this is actually your shopping app. Now I haven't signed in uh, because you guys don't get my Amazon password and that's not happening. But once you get in here, it's a lot like your browser's version of it. Uh, the nice thing is uh, it is right here on your TV. So if you are sitting watching a commercial or you know, if you watch commercials these days, you're sitting there watching something and something catches your eye you can just pop right into the amazon app and uh and check that out obviously there is a search function for you to find specific things if you need that so i can go in here and 
diapers. And it'll pull up a few options for me. Okay, so my daughter's in size four diapers and here are my options. So, so yeah, Amazon is a really nice one. It may be that you already have the Amazon app on your phone. Uh, obviously you can get it on your computer, but if you're in the middle of a show or something and you remember something vital like diapers and you just want to get it taken care of, it's nice to have that app right there. Next up is TED. You're probably familiar with TED Talks, so there's not a ton to introduce here, but there is a TED app on the Apple TV. So in this, you can go again, much like all those other apps, you can go and uh, scroll through the different categories and check out what it is you want to see. Yeah, I mean, some people find TED Talks insufferable. Sometimes they are, but there's a lot of good stuff in here as well. It's great to be able to pop in and, and watch a 15 or 20 minute uh, speech on something like this. Now, next up is Udemy. Now, this is a, a similar one where it's kind of a continued learning type thing. Udemy, if you're not familiar with it, does a lot of different courses. Now, I do not want to sign in right now, but you can create a, a, uh, an account and sign in there. Now, most of the courses on Udemy are paid. You've got to pay. So this one says it's a hundred bucks. Yikes, 10 bucks for that one. That's a little more reasonable, but I'm talking about free stuff right now. So I'm going to scroll down to free courses for Apple TV. And you can see we've got piano lessons and calligraphy and uh, yeah, what else? How to deliver memorable, what is it, elevator pitches or whatever. Oh, that's what's that doing in free? That's 10 bucks. Anyway, you can see there are a few options in here in the free category. So you can kind of check that out and see if an app like this is even for you. I like when they let you test that out. Um, and these courses, I looked into the, uh, the piano lessons for absolute beginners. Uh, and it wasn't bad, so something you might want to check out. Moving on to number five, Pluto TV. This is another probably recognizable name to a lot of people who have been around streaming for a while, but if you're new to it, you might not recognize this. Pluto TV is another uh, is another free TV and movies app, and so if you pop in here, there are a ton of channels, but they're not necessarily the channels that you're used to. Um, but there are, gosh, I think there's over a hundred of them now. Um, and you, and there's uh, 30, 40 music channels as well. So if you are looking for something to watch and you're okay with not watching, you know, TNT or, uh, or USA or whatever your preferred cable channels are, there are a lot of things on here. When I opened it up a while ago, I got to watch, uh, yeah, there it is, the big short. And so I got sucked into watching the big short not a bad way to spend an afternoon. Again, this is going to be ad supported, much like Sony Crackle, uh, but it's just going to give you more options. So if uh, you pop into one of those two, you're going to find something to watch. I almost guarantee it. And you don't have to pay anything for it. Newsy is a news app, but it's a little bit different. It's not like a cable news channel or something. What it is, is bite-sized videos that you can check out. Now I can pop in and check out a few different categories and scroll through and if some headline catches my eye, uh, then I can check it out. And they're, like I said, bite-sized videos, usually between two and four minutes. And uh, so if you if you wake up in the morning and you wanna just get caught up on what the news is, you can pop into the Newsy app. I really like that one. Now let's pop down to Calm. This one is interesting and I've, I've had a few questions about it when I told my coworkers about this list. The Calm app, you may be familiar with it if you listen to podcasts. They're doing a ton of advertising on podcasts right now. But basically, the Calm app is just what it says. It is meant to calm you down. Uh, it's meant to be relaxing. And it does that very, very well. It is meant for adults. It's meant for kids. It's meant for whoever. But it's got a few different uh, categories on here. My favorite of which is the sleep stories. Um, you can, again, for adults, for kids, if you have a hard time falling asleep because your mind is going a million miles an hour, then I highly recommend letting Stephen Fry read you a 25-minute story. Uh, it's the most relaxing thing in the world. You'll sleep like a baby, maybe, uh, hopefully. Anyway, but there's also some other stuff. If you're trying to do some work and you want some concentration music, they've got some uh, nice calming music in here as well. Most of this is going to center around sleep, but not all of it. You can see some of it is labeled as relax. Uh, and so you can so you can kind of search around for whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish on here. Either way, any anything that you 
choose here is going to be very calming. Next up, Food Network. It's In the Kitchen by Food Network. I looked at a few different recipe apps. I love baking, uh, and so I like having this available to me. Uh, in the TV, uh, the small TV I have in the kitchen lets me uh, watch this. And so I can go and check out these different recipes. And a lot of these are going to have videos that demonstrate the recipe for you. This is really valuable to me. So if I'm looking for croissants, search that. There we go. So, you know, there's a croissant recipe here. Well, that's that's great. Uh, but I kind of want to see somebody make something so that I can follow along. Well, here's a croissant French toast. And they've got a video of that. So if I pop in here, it's just going to be a recipe, which is nice. Um, and I can scroll through this. It's just like a recipe book or something you'd find online. Uh, but they do have those videos available, which I think is extremely valuable. Next up, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about games, but I'm not necessarily going to give you a specific one. This one is called Breakneck. It's kind of a it, it it looks like a racing game, but it's uh, it's not quite. Anyway, there are quite a few free games out there. Asphalt 8 is a great racing game if you like that. The nice thing about the Apple TV is that if you search for those free games, you're going to find a lot of pretty high quality ones that run just on this remote alone. So you don't have to buy anything different. But if you buy a Bluetooth controller, gaming controller, you can get a little bit more complex games even just on the Apple TV. Now, a lot of streaming boxes and devices are doing gaming now, but from my perspective, Apple TV did it best first, if that makes sense. Um, the gaming capabilities on that have been good for a long time. So make sure you go check those out. Um, next up is Rewinder. This is, we're coming to some of my favorite things now. Rewinder is public domain movies that you can now watch. Uh, they're in the public domain, and so don't expect anything big, but uh, expect some stuff that is good and fun. Uh, there are a lot of gems in here, and they've put a few of them right up top. Uh, the House on Haunted Hill is fantastic. Turkish Star Wars is an absolute gem. If you've never seen this, go download the Rewinder app and watch Turkish Star Wars. You are in for a surprise. It is great. Now, the last one that I'll talk about is Vicky. Vicky was the biggest surprise to me on the list. This is Asian TV shows. So you're getting stuff from Japan and China and Taiwan and uh, Korea, it, all, all sorts of different places. In fact, if I explore this, I can search by country um, and you can find TV shows based on, you know, if you speak Chinese, then you can go check out the Chinese TV shows and ditto for Korean and Japanese and all that. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely loved this one. If you're up for something a little bit different, go check out Vicky. These are all subtitled. They're translated and subtitled by mega fans and posted for you to watch uh, absolutely free. And so this, this is a, a hidden gem, a diamond in the rough. I definitely recommend checking it out if you're down for something a little bit off the beaten path. So hopefully that helps you find a few good channels for you to check out. Uh, fill out your Apple TV app list. Uh, if you have any others that you feel like I missed that you love, hit the comments below and let me know. Otherwise, give this video a like, guys, if it was helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. We are giving away an Apple TV 4K, three of them actually. So hit the description below. There's a link there where you can get all the details. Like, comment, share. There's a bunch of ways that you can enter to win this. We're doing this until June 19th, 2019. So if you're watching this before then, then congratulations, you can still enter. If it's after that, then hello from the past. Ooh.